Hi, I'm Dan Clement, a screen print artist with decades of hands-on experience. Today I'm excited to show you some of my tips and tricks that I use when I use Separation Studio by Freehand Graphics. That's a game changer in the industry. So if you want to find out more about screen printing or find out more about who I am and what I do, head over to danclement.com. And if you're ready to elevate your skills, let's get started. Let's take a look at how we generate a black screen. All right, so looking at my image here, um, this image is separated already. It opens it up on a transparent PNG. That's what I use. And we got this. If you notice here, we got a base and some colors, no black printer. So we're going to print this thing on any color other than black. We need a black screen, a black uh, printer. So Separation Studio has an engine. If you, click on, if you look here, it says black generation. So when I click on that, I get to choose three different blacks, right? Now, you don't need to create three blacks when you're working. You just need to pick one, but I'm going to kind of show you why or what they're used for, right? So a skeletal black is designed for dark shirts, maroons, you know, forest greens, that sort of thing. And it just kind of works with the darkness of the color and create your shadows and your black areas. Your detail black is for your mid-range colors, you know, royal blues, you know, Kelly greens, that sort of thing. And then your sharper black is designed for whites or lights. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate one of each of these so you can see the differences. Uh, and then we'll talk about it uh, then. So I'm going to go to one. I'm going to do my skeletal first. I click on it. OK. And I, I got to go call out to my original transparent PNG file. And when it's finished, if you take a look here at the bottom, it says black skeletal, right? So it puts it right after our base. So I'm going to print my base, then I'm going to flash it, then I'm going to print my black, and then all the other colors wet on wet. That's my Black is my first wet on wet color. So I'm going to go to black generation again. I'm going to do my detail this time. Again, it calls out to that transparent background, right, uh, in order to generate it for us. And I'll do one more, go to sharper, click OK. There's my PNG, hit OK. All right. So let's take a look at these. So what I like to do is a, kind of a user tip, like a quick tip. If I right click on my black, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to my skeletal first. I'm going to right click and I'm going to open it in a new window and I get a new uh, window here. If I right click inside that window, I can view it as a film. So now I'm looking at my skeletal black as if it's the data that's going to be on my screen. So this one is designed for the darker shirts, right? So if I come over here, watch the screen when I click on the detailed. Right, see it's got more information. So obviously that's the mid-range colors. And if I go to my sharper black and I click on it, it gets even more data, right? It's almost a grayscale of my image. So what that's gonna allow me to do is whatever series of colors shirts I'm printing on, I just grab that screen and go. Most times you're gonna find that detail is gonna work for just about everything you wanna do anyway, so you just generate that. Uh, just depends on what you happen to be working on. So I'm going to go ahead and quit this uh, particular screen here. And I'm going to take a look. I'm going to de delete uh, this particular uh, skeletal black. So I'm going to delete that separation. Um, I'll keep the detail. And I'll actually, for this purpose, I want to show you this. So I'm going to delete the detail this time. All right. And I'm going to keep the sharper black. And I'm just going to like a kind of a quick user tip. If I move this black screen all the way to the end, all right. Now look how much darker my image got right? It's like overpowering and it just kills all the color. Uh, so that's the reason you want to make sure you print your black right after the base and then you get the cool nice colors but all the darker shades of all your colors because remember it's mixing on press to get those to you. So since we created a black printer, let's go ahead and see what it looks like on some different color shirts, right? So my black is in a proper print order. I'm going to come up to this palette here at the very top. I got a stock, a bunch of stock colors, right? I get custom colors. But this is, a, this is the cool thing, I think, anyway. So if we got Fruit of the Loom, Cross Creek in there, we got Gildan. So let's just go there and click on this one here, whatever that is, whatever color you want. You want to check it out. That's ice gray. Click on a little t-shirt here and it changes it on screen. Right, so I can scroll around and you know check out something else, see what I might want to put it on, and I'm literally just changing uh, to get an idea. Right, it's not perfect, but it is a pretty good idea what it's going to look like on the shirt of your choice. So there you go, looks pretty cool to me. Um, that is the black where it's supposed to be, and just how it's supposed to look on your t-shirts. <laughs>